Apple bricked my M1 MacBook Air with a security update, and now they want hundreds of dollars to fix it. I refuse to ever let that happen to me again, so that's why I went to Framework. How did I get into this mess? Well, last year I started bringing my Steam Deck to work and using it to edit videos on my lunch break. This was fine when we were still shooting in 1080p, but as it turns out, the read write speeds of micro SD cards is a major limitation and editing 4K footage was basically impossible. I had heard though that the M1 MacBooks were very good at video editing and you can get one that is broken but functional for cheap. I picked this one up for 150 US dollars. It works, but had coffee spilled on it. So the keyboard, trackpad and battery were dead. No big deal. The guy selling it has been using it docked with a USB keyboard and mouse and I can do the same. And that's what I did for a time. When I was on break, I could unplug my dock from my work computer and plug it into my MacBook to use all the monitors and peripherals until Apple released a security feature that prevents peripherals from connecting until you've logged in. So as you can see, I now have no way to log in as I have no functional input devices. A security update like this should have had a pop-up and asked if I wanted to enable it because now what was a perfectly functional M1 MacBook Air is e-waste. I don't want to sell it as my Apple ID is logged in and I have no way to wipe it, the storage is no longer removable, and I'm not about to give my password to whoever I sell it to. To repair it, Apple wants hundreds of dollars and even if I attempt to repair it myself, I'm looking at well over $100 in parts, plus no guarantee it will even work. Luckily for me, I was watching the WAN show recently when Linus let slip that Framework found a bunch of 11th gen Intel motherboard CPU combos and were blowing them out cheap. Like $200 cheap. So I picked one up and this will be my portable mini computer. I love what Framework is doing and their commitment to modularity and upgradability is fantastic. When you upgrade your Framework laptop, you can use the old mainboard and CPU in one of these cases as a standalone computer. There's even a guy who's making a kit to turn it into a handheld gaming console, kind of like a Steam Deck. The instructions are super easy to follow and everything is clearly labeled, so assembling it took about an hour, including my trip to Memory Express to grab an SSD and some more RAM, as I only had 8 gigabytes kicking around at home. But wait, you might ask, won't this be less performant than an M1 MacBook Air? And you would be correct, but I do have a great way to close that gap. A little while ago, I picked up this. This is an eGPU enclosure that functions over Thunderbolt, and this has four Thunderbolt USB Type-C ports. You see where I'm going with this? Luckily, I have this Thunderbolt eGPU enclosure for when I want a little more oomph. This mini PC won't be traveling all that much because just like my MacBook Air, it doesn't have a battery, but unlike my MacBook Air, thanks to its four Thunderbolt ports, it works flawlessly with an eGPU. I currently have a GTX 1060 in here, but if I want a little more grunt down the road, I at least have that option. After a quick test, it's all working flawlessly, and I'm super happy with my little mini PC. I haven't brought it to work yet, but it's been super handy around the studio. In fact, I used it to record the audio for this video, and I've been thinking, Maybe I'll end up building it into a full laptop eventually, especially since I don't have a thin and light right now. And this would save me a lot of money compared to buying a brand new one outright. Either way, I'm no longer beholden to the anti-consumer and frankly wasteful practices of Apple. With this, it's perfectly functional already and I can't even use it. Thanks to Apple's absolutely ridiculous update, which essentially turned this into a brick for me, despite the fact that it's all perfectly functioning hardware it is completely unusable. I can't fix it. I can't upgrade it. I can't do anything except replace it. So this is e-waste. This is the future. Shout out to our patrons. That would be Steph Joe, Jerry Stoner, Branks Creations, Evan Grill, Giller Retro Gaming, Larry Collins, Justin Morgan, Ron's Computer Videos, S. Shrek or Shrek, Dave Vintage Apple Tech, Trina Conrad, Garth Beagle, Mac84, and Ethan Palomero. If you're interested, join our Patreon for only $1 a month. You can get your name in the credits in each video.